Hey everybody that's joining, looking in, wondering where the heck I am. It's Snook and I um, write blogs and do videos on Steam, the blockchain. I happen to use the front end steamit.com and you can find me there by going to steamit.com at Snook. One of the things that I wanted to chat about was being older and finding yourself in situations where you really feel lost. When I got to Steam, I felt lost too. So what it comes down to is, is that you have to be willing and open to try new things. You have to be willing to make mistakes. You have to be willing to let people see your mistakes and own up to them and not blame your mistakes on somebody else. I started out over a year and a half ago not knowing how to do anything and slowly I'm learning how to do all kinds of stuff and that to me is very exciting and makes it all worth it. The older I get, the more I want to use my brain and the more, and not that I'm that old, but I feel like time is slipping away to learn things. So I want to learn them faster, but I don't learn very fast at a really fast pace. So that now it's coming down to picking and choosing what I want to learn. And I think it's important to, in your mind, have priorities of what is important to you. And what is the most important to me is I love making people laugh and brightening their days. And in order to do that, I needed to learn how to make videos, how to edit videos, and I'm still learning every day. Um, one of the little tricks that I did do to help me to learn editing and still keep it fun was I made my friends gifts. You were working with a really small piece of something and when you got done with it, when you got done making a GIF, G-I-F, I don't know, that GIF, you had something to show for it, but you learned how to add different filters, you learned all kinds of stuff by, by making that GIF. So that to me was like a light bulb moment is that I could, instead of like doing a tutorial and you end up really bored by the end, so you never really go through the whole tutorial, where working with a smaller something and then getting that down pat where you're real comfortable learning that. By doing the gifts, I ended up with something to show for it. They were usually like the size of them were like huge because of all the filters I would put on it. <laughs> and like I couldn't send it to anybody because like you had to like drop ship it through whatever because it was so large. But then, because of that, I learned about Handbrake, which makes things smaller. It will help you, it, it'll actually condense the files for you. And um, a lot of people use Handbrake before they, they'll take any video that they make and they'll run it through Handbrake and it'll keep the same size, the same width and height. Oh, no, it's a, no, it's a, um, a flower pot. It's a flower pot, a watering pot. It's like this big. Yeah, no, it's, I'm outside. It's like this big, I'm like a netty pot. I'm like, yeah, no, it's. Aren't like netty pots like real tiny? Yeah, this thing's like this big. <laughs> oh 
shotgun. That's hilarious. Yeah, no, it's big. Next time I'll have it, I'll set up the table with it on it. And just water while I'm talking. <laughs> okay, we'll see you later, Francis. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Too funny. How do we turn this off?